Parker joining me now with the first look at the forecast. Well, it's been a pretty dry day, but it looks like as we head into the evening hours, that all ends. We have a line of severe storms coming down from the north. Right now, severe thunderstorm watch posted for almost the entire state of West Virginia. But you see that one line of storms, and it's just to the north of our area. It's going to make its way into our area. It's going to probably still be strong. It hasn't weakened all that much. And it looks like Nicholas and Fayette counties are going to be the first to get hit and probably get it the worst before it starts to weaken more. Damaging winds, gusty winds, and flooding, biggest threats. We can't rule out some hail, though, and there will be some thunder and lightning with these storms. We'll dry out after it, and I'll have your full forecast coming up in just a bit. Thanks, Jake Uppel. Mercer County officials are currently investigating multiple acts of vandalism throughout the county. Newswatch reporter Jake Karalexis has more on that investigation. Three different state parks in Mercer County were vandalized in some manner this past weekend. While a majority of the damage has already been cleaned up and restored, state park officials are still looking into these acts. There was equipment that was there, kiosk at uh, Pipestown State Park and, uh, and the, uh, the, the shelter that we have at uh, Brush Creek Falls and, uh, and, and also the signage down there that we have was all vandalized and torn up. One of the reasons that the state parks may have been targeted is that they are accessible as attendance numbers have risen in recent weeks. All across the country right now, our attendance at our parks are through the roof. There's a very high increase in uh, folks attending their parks. It's important now that Mercer County residents work with officials to prevent these incidents from continuing going forward. This is a county of people and, and citizens can help us out on on uh, keeping their eyes open for uh, bad acts that take place and, and try to help us, not, not to help us apprehend those, but to help guide us in the paths of how, how we can prepare and, and, uh, and also rep uh, fix up the things that are torn up. Multiple law enforcement departments are teaming up with county officials to hopefully conclude these investigations sooner rather than later. In Mercer County, Jake Karalexis, Newswatch. The investigations into these vandalisms are still ongoing and more information will be released when available. And if you've driven out to Route 60 through Raynell and Rupert, you've passed the Meadow River Community Park in Charmco. It was the Greenbrier Youth Park up until 2008 when it became a project of the Meadow River Watershed Association and the nonprofit Wellspring. Now Wellspring is handing it over to the Meadow River Valley Association, who has big plans for its future. Newswatch reporter Anna Saunders explains. It's a park that's existed for 100 years. Built to be one of West Virginia's roadside rests, it then became a youth park turned community park. And as the co-directors and founders of Wellspring have been taking care of it, Fred and Scarlett Kellerman say it is time to give it to an organization with vision who can transform it. <laughs> we felt uh, that we should keep the park going because the community needed it, the community pretty much demanded it, and uh, we wanted to do that. We uh, struggled at times to keep it going, but uh, it's a wonderful park, a wonderful facility, and we're just so happy that uh, now that uh, the Meadow River Association has taken over. The Meadow River Valley Association was born out of the 2016 floods and they have been working on economic development in the area since. While they're in the planning stages of their other projects like the Rupert School, this seemed like a great opportunity to take over a project that could be used immediately. And while the over eight acre park has most of what you need, they're planning on adding a boat launch into the Meadow River and a new and special shelter next to it. We're going to build a new shelter in memory of Coach Bud Whitlow that passed away this year. Um, it'll be like a, a fishing camp, it'll have a fishing camp feel, um, so it'll be a cool spot. It'll be a boat launch with that, with that uh, shelter in memory of Coach Whitlow. It's a community gathering space for the area and with a couple additions and fixes, it's on its way to become a must stop on Route 60. It's survived a century of different ownership and even a historic flood, but because of dedicated volunteers and leaders, still remains. It's been a real pleasure to serve the community and we want to thank the community leaders and all the volunteers who have been here who have been working and keeping the park up. It's been really hard for us right after the flood. We had some problems with trying to get put it back together. Uh, and so we want to thank those volunteers who have come and helped. 
Reporting in Greenbrier County, I'm Anna Saunders, Newswatch. And if you want to help with park cleanup, you can meet there on Saturday at 9 a.m. Well, a Beckley native and U.S. Air Force senior airman, Alyssa Rones, was honored Friday with the Air Force Achievement Medal. Newswatch reporter Shakira Hawkins has her story. Over the past two years, 23-year-old Alicia Strickland has managed three academic databases for over 300 service students, validated academic progress through three language programs, and argumented Defense Language Institute to enable speaking exams, saving her department over 40 staff hours. She were always a person that she didn't want to fail at anything, and she was always whatever she set her mind to do, she did. With all the odds stacked against her, Alyssa has come a long way from her younger days when she was homeless. After moving in with her grandmother, Alyssa excelled in school and worked multiple jobs in the Beckley area. And in junior high school, she excelled greatly there. She took, in the eighth grade year of graduating from junior high, every award that they had to give, they, it was given to her. Alyssa's grandmother and foster mom says she wants her granddaughter's story to inspire children in Beckley. And to be a young black female, I would like for other young people, no matter the color of their skin, to know no matter what you go through in life, you can still excel. Reporting in Beckley for Newswatch, I'm Shakira Hawkins. Mary West, Alicia's grandmother, says she hopes Alicia's story can inspire the youth in the community. Well, still to come on Newswatch at 6, how Coda Kitchen is teaming up to distribute food in Raleigh and Fayette counties. Plus, Hello. let's see what tips Dr. Paul Connolly has in store for us on this week's Medical Watch. But first, meteorologist Jacob Dolinger up next with your forecast. Newswatch at 6, coming right back. This summer, get back in the driver's seat. Your Honda dealer is open and ready to get you into a new Honda today. Like the versatile HRV or the fun to drive CRV. Visit the Honda Summer Clearance Event and get a great deal from Honda, KBB.com's 2020 Best Value Brand. Get a great deal on the CRV at the Honda Summer Clearance Event today. Are you ready to change your future? At Valley College Online, you can train for careers in healthcare, business, and cybersecurity, and do it in a flexible format that fits your lifestyle, and you can graduate in as little as nine months. Our instructors have real industry experience, and you get personalized assistance every step of the way with the help you need to ensure you finish on time and can start your new career. Valley College Online. Call now or reach us at learn at valley.com. Tonight, night two at the Republican National Convention as Team Trump makes the case for a second term. With so much at stake, World News Tonight with David Muir is America's most watched newscast and now the most watched program on all of television. While we are the three most familiar faces at Pharmaclinic Campbell, there are over 50 more. These are the faces of your friends and neighbors that work every day to help you with the problems caused by your accident. Call 252-5990. When you think of DraftKings, you might think sports, but there's so much more. DraftKings used their top-of-the-line technology to create a mobile casino app for a new way to get skin in the game, offering all the games you love, including blackjack, roulette, slots, and more. Download the DraftKings Casino app to play casino games for real cash prizes. New casino players can play DraftKings Casino risk-free up to $50 during their first 24 hours. So don't wait. Download the DraftKings Casino app today. It's no secret that the past few months have been challenging for our local businesses. That's why we've teamed up with the Fayette County Health Department, the Fayette County Chamber, and New River Health for Making a Difference Mondays. Each Monday, we'll feature a local business in our show who has gone above and beyond during these challenging times to keep our community safe. If you would like to nominate a local business, you can head over to FayetteCounty.com slash making a difference. Let's show our local businesses some love. Be sure to tune in to WOAY every Monday at 6 p.m. for Making a Difference Mondays. Newswatch weather is brought to you by Window World, simply the best for less. 
A good Tuesday evening, everyone. It looks like we are going to have a wet end to our Tuesday. We have some storms on the way coming down from the north. You see this line. Some of these storms are severe warned. They have severe thunderstorm warnings. That is different than the yellow, which is a severe thunderstorm watch. This is telling us that severe storms may occur, and you can see that they are on their way. We likely might see some actual warnings on these cells as, as they head into our area. There's probably some small hail with these cells, gusty winds, heavy rain, thunder and lightning, just something you don't want to be out in. So let's take a look at when we can expect this in much of the area. You can see over towards Nicholas County, that's where it's going to get to first as it comes from the north. So Nicholas around Beaver, Summersville, that's around 7. It gets down to Oak Hill probably around that 7.30 time frame, and then it continues its move southward. We're probably not going to see it continue to be as strong as it heads towards maybe Raleigh, Summers, or Monroe counties because it, it will start to weaken as it heads through our mountains and we have that dry air up in the atmosphere. But on the ground, the reason why it's able to stay so strong right now is because dew points signaling that the air is moist, at least at the surface, showing that they're pretty high. We're in the 70s in some of these areas. So as it makes its way along our western slopes, it's probably going to be pretty strong still until it gets down towards maybe the Raleigh, Summers, and Monroe County area. It doesn't mean you guys can't see some thunder and lightning as well. Again, the main threats are damaging winds, Flooding is an ice. We'll probably see isolated flooding as we head into the evening hours with this. Some areas could pick up quite a bit of rain with this cell. And we can rule out some small hail as well. Again, it's going to continue to weaken, so these threats might change. But you can see as it traverses through the area, Around the 8.30 to 9 o'clock hour, maybe towards 9.30, it's getting down towards Greenbrier, Summers and Monroe, but it quickly weakens. Look at that. By 11, it's pretty much nothing. Skeleton of what it was before as it's heading into our area. Then we go into Wednesday, and you can see we dry out. Looking into Wednesday, really nothing in terms of severe weather. Maybe an isolated storm, especially towards our southern areas, but really not too much in the way of strong, widespread rain that we're about to see as we go into tonight. But then look at Thursday, we have some more scattered storms and those could be heavier at times as well. Telling by the red, oranges and yellows. This is late in the day on Thursday, so we'll get that daytime heating and then those storms will begin to pop up. Rainfall forecast not only through the weekend, but through next week. Look at this. We're picking up several inches and that's not only because of severe weather that may actually be be because of tropical storm Laura. This is churning over in the Gulf of Mexico and you can see it's already a category one hurricane and it still has all this warm water to go over before it makes landfall somewhere along the Gulf Coast near Texas and Louisiana, probably near Houston. People in Houston need to watch out for this because it could be a major hurricane, a category three when it makes landfall. Then you see it make its turn to the east. As it does that, it becomes a low pressure system. It's not really a tropical storm at all anymore. It's just a lot of rain at that point, and that's what we could see as we head into the weekend. Now, again, as we go into Wednesday, we're looking good. It's Thursday that we bring the rain chances back. Friday as well, and Saturday is when we could see those remnants of tropical storm Laura. Pretty heavy rain at that. There's no time like summer to buy new windows. Hang 10 during our end of summer sale. That's right, buy 10 or more energy efficient windows and receive 10% off base price. We give you choices too. From color, glass, and grid patterns. Our windows are Energy Star rated and backed by the Good Housekeeping Seal. Take advantage of great financing too. So don't go back to that little grass shack. When you can have new siding, windows, and doors from Window World of Beckley. Aloha. Today I made some chocolate chip cookies for Grandma's birthday. What a marvelous family using gig speed to prepare for Grandma's birthday. For real, those little guys are watching cooking videos while she's live streaming. And Aunt Sue's helping by watching a movie. Classic. She's here. How are they doing all of this without slowing down? It's the gig speed, like I said. You gotta have the fastest internet when you're a family of influences. <laughs> Bring every room to life with Suddenlink's one gig internet on our next generation network. Just $75 a month for life. Uh, I always love talking about weather to people, especially family and friends, and unfortunately they kind of learned early on that I was probably going to end up being on TV somewhere, so it was just fitting that I was able to get into broadcast meteorology, and now I can share my weather knowledge with you guys at home. So my hometown is Sarasota, Florida. It's about an hour south of Tampa. It's mostly known for Siesta Key Beach, um, which has a baby powder type sand on it.
We've never been so ready for summer. Your Honda dealer is open and ready to get you into a new Honda today. Like the sporty Civic or the sophisticated Accord. Visit the Honda Summer Clearance Event and get a great deal from Honda. KBB.com's 2020 Best Value Brand. Get a great deal on the Civic Sedan at the Honda Summer Clearance Event today. Be on the lookout for the dreaded digital dead walkers. Dude! They're not looking out for you. Engage! A public service safety message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Hello, I'm Dr. Paul Connolly, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Medical Watch. Today we're going to talk a little bit about mosquito bites and some of the ramifications from mosquito bites. In this area, this time of year, we think about encephalitis. There's something called a lacrosse encephalitis. This is a virus that can affect the brain, and we see it from mosquito bites. Signs and symptoms of encephalitis would include a headache, malaise, fatigue, temperature, and sometimes even a seizure can occur. Mosquitoes are transmitting this virus by bites to the skin. We know that we can prevent mosquito bites by a few simple rules. One is make sure that you try to avoid going out at dusk and dawn when mosquitoes are most prevalent. Also, we can use bug spray, something with DEET. Physicians recommend less than 30% DEET. And also, if you have a child under two months of age, you may want to consider avoiding DEET. Also, make sure that if you have standing water, look for wading pools, flower pots, especially flower pots or bird baths that may actually have a dish or a pan in which would hold water. If you uh, watch these simple rules, you can avoid being bitten by mosquitoes and then prevent the risk of encephalitis. For more information, you can go to our website at WAY.com. I'm Dr. Paul Connolly. Until next time, stay healthy, Southern West Virginia. And Coda Kitchen, located in Oak Hill, has teamed up with a group of community members to distribute free food in Raleigh and Fayette counties. Tomorrow from 5 to 7 p.m. on Antonio Ave in Beckley, volunteers will be handing out free meals. Over 250 meals will be available to the public. With the COVID-19, a lot of people are not getting the proper nutrition and all. And this is another way to help out with those that are not being able to get what they need. School's out, the children comes up and they get their little dinners and things and everybody seems to be happy with it. If you are unable to make it to tomorrow's food distribution, the next event will be held on Friday at the Multicultural Center in East Park. And after the break, developing news regarding Marshall football. Sports director Matt Digby has that and another high school football preview after the break. Medical Watch, brought to you by Plateau Medical Group. At Plateau Medical Center, we have the newest technology, which is robotic surgery. Prior to us getting it, you would have to travel out of the area into a larger hospital. By using the robot, less pain, quicker recovery time, quicker return to normal activities and shorter hospital stays. This new robotic platform allows us to do what we do and do it even better, and that's only going to benefit our patients. It's not about the technology, it's not about the robot, it's about patient outcomes. For more than 65 years, we've been your hometown station bringing you news from around the area. Good evening and welcome to Newswatch. Call came in at about 3. As well as the stories you need to know about that affect you and your neighbors. The WOAY Stormwatch team always has you covered. We head into the evening hours. Leaving us with mostly sunny skies. And nobody covers more games than the WOAY sports the team. Summer practice guidelines for high school sports. WOAY, your choice for news. The end of summer event is on at Toyota. And right now is the best time to save big on the truck you've been working for. Like a rugged Tacoma to help you play harder. Right now with 1,000 cash back from Toyota. Or go big with a half-ton Tundra with 1.9% APR financing for 60 months. Or 2,500 cash back from Toyota. The Toyota end of summer event is happening now. So visit your dealer today. Toyota. Before the sun comes up at Tudor's, we're hard at work, sifting, rolling, and baking. 
so we can serve you a delicious made-from-scratch breakfast. We use the freshest, most wholesome ingredients like shaved ham, sizzling bacon, country-style pork sausage, and golden potatoes. We gently crack fresh eggs and cook them to perfection. We make homemade sausage gravy to serve over our steaming hot biscuits. For a limited time, enjoy our classic breakfast for only $3.99 at participating locations. Newswatch Sports is brought to you by King Cole Chevrolet. Good evening. Marshall announcing this afternoon that fans will be able to attend all home football games this season starting when they host Eastern Kentucky on September 5th. And also on Tuesday, Conference USA announcing its preseason football honors. Thundering Herd running back Brendan Knox has been named the league's offensive preseason player of the year. The Columbus, Ohio native was the league MVP in 2019 and was named to three award watch lists last month. He's joined by four teammates on the all-conference preseason team, Devontae Beckett, Kane Madden, Nazi Johnson, and Talit Keaton. Again, Marshall announcing fans will be allowed to attend all home games, albeit at limited capacity. Well, the countdown has reached 10 days until the return of high school football in southern West Virginia. Wyoming East is one of the teams scheduled to open the year at home. The Warriors will be doing so after a playoff year in 2019, but a couple changes in the offseason. Still, they're looking forward to what can be achieved in 2020. 2019 marked a turnaround for the Wyoming East Warriors. After four straight losing seasons, they rebounded last fall with eight wins and a trip to the Class AA playoffs. But after one season under Larry Thompson, Jimmy Atkins is now the Warriors head coach, their third in the last three years. However, Atkins and the team are both looking to 2020 with positive attitudes. And I've kind of put it together and, you know, kind of doing my own thing now. You know, I'm excited to be where I'm at and, you know, I, this team is, is behind me and I'm behind them and we're, we're excited. Coach Atkins was great last year and he's great this year. He's just a hardworking, determined man and he's really turned this team back around and, we're going to be ready for this year just like we were last. Wyoming East does bring back a fair amount of players from last year's playoff squad. That and the fact that they already know Atkins, a former assistant, has brought positivity to the opening practices and allowed team chemistry to continue. We just got to work harder, which we have been. And, uh, you know, we're really coming together as a team and stuff. And I think everything's going to go good. It's no really big change, but Jimmy brings a whole different thing to the table, you know, a lot harder work ethic, and I think that's going to make us a better team this year. One major point of the Warriors' 2019 season was how they started 5-0. and They say a similar start in 2020 can keep that momentum going, beginning against Mingo Central. Well, you got to treat every game, you know, as its own game, but, uh, you know, we got a lot of players, a lot of freshmen, sophomores, and even juniors stepping up to the plate this year, and I think they're going to fill their spots really good working extra hard out here every day we've been grinding a long time now and I think we'll be ready this is something I've always wanted to do I've always been around the game and and I love it we're all on the same page we're concentrated on Mingo Central and and that's it as of right now and that'll do it for sports at six we'll be right back lower 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 keep them prices lower hi this is Richard Bradley with King Cole Chevrolet and we're continuing our celebration with our summer sell down event. We have all kinds of Silverados with up to $8,500 off on new crew cabs. Our summer sell down celebration will get you up to $7,000 off on Equinox or Trax. Special credit, no credit, we can help. So make a short drive to Oak Hill and get your best deal every day at King Cole Chevrolet. King Cole. Find new roads with Chevrolet. At Detail Plus, we clean more than just cars and trucks. That's why we're called Detail Plus. Big or small. We do it all. RVs, boats, tractor trailer cabs, utility trucks, side-by-sides, ATVs and haulers, motorcycles and trailers. We keep it really sanitized and safe by finishing with a disinfectant spray to your interior. It's time to call Detail Plus at 304-640-7934. For the best showroom detail. Big or small, we do it all. Ashley Home Store's Labor Day sale is going on now. For a limited time, get store-wide savings. Or buy today and pay later with 0% interest for five years. Only at America's number one furniture and mattress store. Ashley Home Store. This is home. 
My sister got Alzheimer's and needed constant care. She died within two months of being placed in a nursing home. She stopped eating, and they tried to cover it up, so I called Stuart Bell. If you suspect neglect or abuse in a nursing home or other care facility, call me right now. Stuart Bell proved that my sister's death was a nursing home's fault and made them pay. Call me. I know what to do. Even in these uncertain times, we can still fight for your loved ones. Call 1-800-343-8383. Who is going to be next to grab one of these fantastic deals at Lewis Nissan? Like all these lucky people, you can receive a 2020 Nissan Rogue all-wheel drive starting at just $23,990 with 0% financing available. Or this 2020 Nissan Altima 2.5S for only $20,990. Or how about an all-wheel drive for $22,990? Get these awesome deals and award-winning service all month long here at Lewis Nissan. WAY-TV has an immediate opening for a part-time weekend director. Primary duties include checking that all videos and graphics have been loaded correctly, directing the weekend 6 p.m. and 11 p.m. newscasts, and logging commercial breaks. Must have excellent communication skills, basic computer knowledge, and reliable transportation. Please send resume and references to Tim Naylor. Email careers at WAY.com. Visit WAY.com for more information. WOAY-TV is an equal opportunity employer. Storms are beginning to get into our area. You can see they're very close to Nicholas County and Fayette County. Even Pocahontas beginning to see some of the effects and down through Greenbrier County. Still severe heavy rain, thunder and lightning, gusty winds, maybe even some small hail. Still a threat as we head into the evening hours. Now as we go into tomorrow, we dry out a little bit. And as we go into Thursday, we bring the rain chances back. Friday and Saturday, though, that's when we could see quite a bit of rain from the remnants of Tropical Storm Laura. Temperatures, though, look at that, dropping into the mid-70s. And then that nighttime low on Sunday in the mid-50s before we dry out going into the middle of next week. Well, that's all the time we have for News Watch at 6. World News is next, and we're back here at 11 o'clock. We'll see you then. Tonight, breaking news as we come on the air, Hurricane Laura gaining strength, about to slam into the U.S., potentially as...